Hi guys, Dr. Burke here. This video, we're going to talk about how to diagnose nutritional deficiencies through your eyes. The eyes tell it all, okay? So the first thing is yellow, the whites of the eyes become yellow or the skin is yellow. That is jaundice. So there's, a, there's this type of byproduct from bile called bilirubin that backs up through the liver into the blood. And that's why it turns yellow. And that's because something is obstructing the flow of the bile duct from the, that's connected to the gallbladder. So that's usually a gallbladder problem. So that, that tells us that your diet needs to be changed to keep the flows going through the bile ducts. So yellow eyes is liver or gallbladder, okay? The next one is bloodshot eyes. Now, yes, this can happen when you drink alcohol, but it's also a vitamin B2 deficiency, okay? Riboflavin. And that usually comes from consuming too many refined grains, breads, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, waffles, pancakes, things like that. So in that case, you want to stop eating those foods, okay, and eat healthy. Okay, that's a B2 deficiency. The next one, the little placking on the eye, uh, and it could happen little, like little chunks of something to the eye, or it could be the eyelid. That is cholesterol placking. It's a genetic problem usually where the person has very high levels of cholesterol and they just can't seem to get rid of it. In that case, what you have to do is you have to reduce your cholesterol from the diet, unfortunately, uh, and take a lot of lecithin and choline. Those are the two uh, B vitamins that help reduce cholesterol. I, I would also uh, say to consume niacin. That would also help lower cholesterol just to minimize the damage, okay? The next one would be cataracts. That's where you have this placking on the eye, this opaque whiteness that's obstructing vision, and that's a B1 deficiency. Now, the way you get a B1 deficiency is either consuming too much sugar, being a diabetic, or going through mass amounts of stress. Of course, also eating refined grains as well. And uh, B1 will cause this cataract, okay? Next one is the inner eyelid, underneath the eyelid. It's all red and irritated. It almost feels like there's sand. That is a blood sugar, usually a hypoglycemia or a blood sugar issue. In that case, I, I put some video links down below of how to deal with the blood sugar issues, but that's really easy to fix. But a lot of um, pre-diabetics have this, this vision issue and it's all sensitive and irritated and inflamed, okay? That's what it is. Last one is a little, um, uh, like a little pimple or a cyst on the eyelid. That's a sty. That's also a blood sugar issue because the white blood cell, the neutrophils, uh, instead of going after the bacteria, they like to always eat sugar first. So they leave, leave the bacteria there, they go after the sugar, and they basically become inactivated. So neutrophils are normally there to help eat up and clean up all this bacteria. Well, it can't get rid of that because your sugars are off. So people with styes normally always consume too much sugar or they have blood sugar issues, okay? So the, again, you can watch the blood sugar video down below. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. Put your comments below and I'll see you in the next video.